Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET. Today we're going to take a look at the Dell XPS 127. So this is a 27-inch all-in-one PC from Dell, and it's unique mostly because it has a 2560 by 1440 resolution display. That makes this the highest resolution Windows-based all-in-one, and it's in line with a 27-inch iMac. So Dell sells this system in four fixed configurations. This is the 1599 model. It's in the middle of the pack. It comes with a Core i5 CPU from Intel's third generation chips, 8 gigs of RAM, a terabyte hard drive, and an NVIDIA GeForce 640M graphics chip. There's only a standard DVD burner in this system that feels a little bit in Congress with the rest of the market given that Blu-ray is so widely available. If you want Blu-ray, you have to spend for the 1999 version of this system. Otherwise, the system is pretty fast, and given its high resolution monitor and the fact that it's unique, it's actually pretty fairly priced. Now, this is not a touchscreen like most modern all in ones, but the benefit of the high resolution is that you can fit lots of windows on screen and everything just looks crisper. It simply looks like a better PC. Now, the system isn't really meant for professional level video or image editing, arguably, unlike the iMac. There's a glossy treatment on the screen. The iMac has that too, but here it seems even worse, and it picks up images from pretty much all around the room. Now, of course, we also tried watching video on this system, and it actually looks pretty good. The black levels maybe aren't exactly what we'd like them to be, but overall, HD content in particular looks great. Standard def content, though, looks pretty muddy up close, so you want to watch that from a distance. There's a webcam here up top, and there's actually a little shutter you can slide to completely close that off if you're sort of concerned about privacy or anything like that. Down here, you have the basic display controls, and they're proximity activated, which is kind of nice. The problem is, though, they're actually pretty limited. For display, for example, you can swap out the signal if you want to connect to the HDMI uh, device you may have connected to it. You can also adjust the brightness setting on the screen, but that's probably too limited for a system as high-end as this one. Now, here on the left side, you'll see some basic inputs. You've got headphone and microphone, a couple of USB 3 jacks, as well as SD card. One nice feature about this system is all the USB ports are USB 3. Here in the back panel, you'll see inputs for a TV tuner, digital audio input, HDMI in and out, and over here you have four more USB ports and an Ethernet jack. The TV tuner is probably the one sticking point we have with the features in the system. We'd much rather have a Blu-ray drive. So for its speed, its high resolution, and its fair price, I can recommend this Dell. I might wait a couple months to see if Apple comes out with a new iMac. I wouldn't be surprised that happened. Overall, though, this is among the best high-end Windows-based all-in-ones. So I'm Rich Brown, and this is the Dell XPS 12710.